Hey all, Heba here and uh, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Sea of Conquest and to this video here on how to plunder and PvP. So uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share and uh, I especially like to read the comments so don't hold back if you have anything to say. So uh, Sea of Conquest is a pirate game, right? So there should be a lot of plundering in it and uh, there is, uh, if that's your thing of course because uh, like if you watch my other videos you will know there's plenty of other stuff to do and uh, plundering comes with risk and um, you know especially if you go up against other players it can be quite risky. So uh, of course if that's something you enjoy you should totally do it but uh, personally I don't really do it much but uh, in this video here I'll just show quickly uh, a bit of uh, you know information on how to actually pull it off. So uh, first we'll talk about PvE and uh, in this case here I'm going to take on some armored freighters. So uh, all you gotta do is just click the magnifying glass, select the armored freighters and then set the level a little bit lower than the maximum. Uh, you know, seven or eight levels higher than yourself should be okay for uh, armored freighters. But if you have trouble, just drop the level down to an area where you will always win. Because there's no point losing to armored freighters, right? So uh, just uh, they're there to give you experience and a little bit of uh, loot. So uh, just make sure you always win, especially when you can just adjust the uh, difficulty really uh, in any way that you need to. So uh, getting rid of armored freighters is a nice and easy way to uh, get some experience for your adventure level, right? Some adventure experience. And uh, it's fairly easy and you can do, you know, a bunch of engagements every day. Uh, you will need stamina to actually attack armed freighters. So uh, you can see I only have enough left right now for maybe one more attack. Uh, then you have to wait. There's no way to really uh, like regrow your stamina, at least not at the moment. So you'll have to wait, uh, you know, a few hours and then you can attack again. And that's fair enough. It's just a way of like to stop people from, uh, you know, just over leveling basically. So uh, once you get rid of the uh, freighters, you will of course get some goodies, some loot and uh, of course some experience. So all you gotta do is click the chest and uh, you will be shown what was available to, uh, you know, pick up. In this case here, we even reach a new adventure level, which is, like I said, one of the main reasons to actually do this. Of course you get loot, but uh, for me, the experience is more uh, important. So after you've sunk a few uh, freighters, you can be lucky and a patrol will show up. Now, uh, these are a little bit harder to sink, not a lot, but they are a little bit harder to sink, but they grant you much better loot. Uh, and also a lot more experience. Uh, I think at least double the experience. So uh, if you see these patrols, they usually just sit around with a blue marker around them and uh, you know, just attack them and uh, take them out because uh, it's just much better loot for you really with pretty much the same amount of uh, effort. So you can see how the uh, adventure experience here granted is uh, more than 5,000. So. Uh, a lot more than the usual one or two thousand you get for just like a normal uh, bunch of uh, armored freighters. So uh, keep that in mind. Now uh, you can choose to uh, select merchant ships instead of armed freighters when you do your search. Uh, just be careful, don't attack anything too high. For example, this one is level 36, way too high. Uh, required battle strength is uh, much, much higher than my ship and I will lose this engagement. Instead, you should, uh, you know, search or just randomly sail around until you find someone that's, you know, someone you can pick on, really. Like, uh, this guy here is level 23 and required battle strength is 4 million, so we almost doubled that, so this should be, like, the easiest thing in the world. So uh, you get a little bit of, uh, like, what possible drops this guy has and how much money you can make, and uh, then you really just have to sail up to them and uh, pound them into submission. Uh, and, of course, the lower level of the merchant ship, the easier this is. And uh, do keep in mind that when you do this, of course, you're going to anger the guild that owns the ship. So uh, if you want to, you know, max out your relationship with all guilds, don't do this. Don't attack uh, merchant ships. And uh, I really don't attack merchant ships because uh, I think it's more beneficial to just uh, keep a good standing with all the guilds, really. And uh, of course, you can be defeated if you're not paying attention or you're attacking someone at, uh, you know, too high a level. And uh, really, the difference between 27 and 28 can be huge, so make sure you uh, always win. So uh, if you don't care about your guild standing, you can just search for a merchant ship around you. Like, just uh, click the merchant ship, click the search button, and uh, you find a level 25 here. 
that seems okay. We can probably take him on. So uh, we're just gonna go and say, yeah, we want to attack this guy. Make sure you uh, are at full power before you do this, right? Um, so like have all the sailors uh, on your ship. Don't do this when you're down to like half hit points or something like that. So uh, once you dispose of the merchant ship, you will gain infamy, meaning that uh, there's more risk for other players to sink you because there's a bounty on your head, right? So uh, that's unfortunate. Another downside to attacking merchant ships, reason that I don't do it. As you can see, 673 uh, infamy and 30,000 gold to the player that kills me now. So uh, if you don't like this, you can go into your inventory and if you're lucky, you will have a heart of atonement. You can use these to reduce your infamy uh, immediately. And I just did that here, going down to 173. So there's less, you know, people out there looking for me. Now, uh, before we get into PvP, I'll show you something that's technically PvP and also plundering because you can take over other people's mines. And I find this quite hilarious. You just got to find a mine that's already taken by someone else. Click it and uh, select the heroes you want to use. And you're just really doing a fight for the mine. And uh, this, like, you're not getting much out of this, but it's kind of fun uh, just to take over mines from other people when they don't realize. <laughs> and, you know, uh, it's, it's something interesting in the game. And... There's very little risk in doing this. You're not putting your ship on the line or anything like that. You just take on someone with a mine and uh, who has lower level heroes than you do. And uh, that's about it. So, uh, you know, you occupy the mine and it now belongs to you and it will, uh, you know, mine resources for you. So, uh, you know, yeah, just a little uh, heads up here. So uh, plundering other players or PVP is risky. Uh, you got to look around the map. You got to find someone who's obviously AFK or auto trading or something like that. Auto trading is better because you're going to get better loot because they're going to be trading. Check out their power level, like do all your research, right? And make sure they don't have too many allies uh, around. You can see there's level 21 right next to this guy here, but they both look AFK. So uh, I'm thinking I can get away with this. So uh, we found a nice level 16 here, two levels, no, three levels below me and uh, his power is about half of what I've got, so this should be fairly easy. So uh, we just, you know, speed up, get close to him, and uh, then we're going to uh, click him and click the attack symbol. So uh, it's all about, you know, finding players that you're sure you can beat in a fair fight. <laughs> so uh, now is critical because he could have friends just around here, and uh, there's a friendly port right next to, like, this battleground here, so uh, it's risky for me, right? But then on the other hand, not much really happens if you get sunk uh, in your in your, if your whole fleet, really. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you just spawn again. And that's why, you know, PvP and bullying other players in this game is not really worth the effort, if you ask me. Especially if you look at, uh, you know, <laughs> we get two gold out of plundering this guy here. So it's, it's a bit of a waste of time. But you can do it, of course, if you think that is fun. So anyway, that was plundering and uh, basic PvP in this video here. We'll get into more detailed PvP in other videos. So I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you out there.